Welcome to Eastern Newsbeat. This is Trisha Zima reporting. We're at the 16th Street Actors Studio and we're joined by two beautiful actors and we're learning all about their passion in acting. Welcome. Now, what's your name? I'm and, Dallas. And how did you get into acting? I actually started dancing when I was four years old, but I got into musical theatre when I was 17. And it was through that that I discovered acting because I'd actually never acted before in my life. So oh, awesome. it was through musical theatre I found it. Fantastic. And what have you done so far? I've studied at six, I started, was a graduate of the full-time program at 16th Street. Um, I've studied overseas in um, New York and LA with Ivana Chubbick. And production since then, um, the Australian premiere of Tennessee Williams' Vukare at 45 Downstairs, which was a year and a half ago. Awesome. The sellout season, it was probably one of the best experiences so far, so... Why does this $10,000 scholarship excite you? Because <laughs> it's $10,000 to go and study. <laughs> um, it's, there's not many opportunities for actors like this, especially in this country, but um, more so in Victoria as well. But to have it open to all ages, I think means um, a significant amount. But the opportunity to be granted that opportunity to go and study anywhere of your choice in the world is pretty incredible. And what's your choice? I would go back to New York. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. The Atlantic Theatre Company. The six-week summer intensive would be incredible. And what's your name? Daniel. Same questions. Why? Why the scholarship or why did I start acting? Why did you start acting? Um, for me, I started in high school and then someone told me I was good. And so <laughs> I, I then kept working and then I actually realised how hard it was and I, how hard I needed to push myself. Um, and the stories I was able to tell, I think that's why I fell in love with it. It became something different from being told I was good <laughs> at 15 or something. So, How many productions have you been in? What have you been involved with? Um, I've done some theatre in Sydney, um, and then I've really taken some time out to focus on my training. Um, I realised there was so much more I wanted to learn, um, and so much more I wasn't doing, I guess, on stage. I wasn't happy with what I was doing, I guess, and I knew there was more. So I've focused probably the last three and a half years on training. Mm. Here at the 16th Studio? Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, and what do you find valuable here? That it's, it's a home away from home, that it's a safe environment where we're always able to come back and it's like a gym. Um, sports people go to a gym, we need to go to a gym because we need to work the muscle constantly and work and work and work. I can't wake up tomorrow and expect to go on set and work if I haven't worked in a different environment or worked that muscle for the last, you know, three months or something. A swimmer can't go to the Olympics tomorrow if they haven't swum for three months. It's the same thing. Oh, very good. So yes. For me, it's like that here. We get to do that. Excellent. What's the scholarship been to you? Where would you go study? Um, probably with Larry Moss. Um, I just worked with him a few weeks ago and it was, it was a really profound experience and I think I would definitely go back and work with him, also go train with, um, at Stella Adler um, for some script analysis, hound that into me, um, I think that would be good as well. So yeah, I'd probably, I'd go to New York. I think it's an excellent opportunity for, for actors to, to, as I said, just constantly work and train and training never stops. And I think that's what's exciting about this opportunity for the scholarship. Thank you very much for your time, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank it's you. been awesome. <laughs> nah. <laughs> See, I don't think someone sleeps with their friend's girl because they don't want them to know. I was your friend. You wanted me to know. Look, Jackie, let me tell you this one true thing and we can go our own separate ways, okay? And I'm gonna be real conservative about this right here. Anybody you meet before the age of, say, 25, that's your friend. Anybody you meet after that, that's just an associate. Somebody to pass the time. Somebody who meets maybe one or two basic needs, but friend? Friends of the playground and adult life, sober life, real life. Ain't nothing like a playground. And if this sounds tough, that's because it is. It's called the real world and it largely sucks. So if you got one friend when you die, you got something most people never had. Yeah, ma'am. I thought I had one. Well, what I'm trying to say... Nah, ma'am, this is what I'm trying to say. Don't take the fact that I didn't kill you today as evidence that I won't do it sometime in the future. And that had me talking crap. That's me being me. Oh, you think you know me? 
<laughs> nobody knows nobody, and you definitely don't know me. So you better hope I stay clean, okay? 449 that. You were a good sponsor. Keep coming back. Welcome back to the 16th Street Actors Studio. I'm here with two new lovely actors and they're going to introduce each other. Uh, Kat Lewis. This is Karen Fairfax. Now Karen, you've been around for a long time in the no, industry. No, that's a little sad but true. I um, started uh, my acting career as a little kid. My dad was an actor and director, George Fairfax, and I grew up watching theatre and being involved in it. Once I got married and had kids, took some time off, became a theatre director, and in the last two years I've come back to acting and come back to 16th Street and, you know, in a privileged position to be working with such an incredible group of people in a fantastic school and that is now offering this wonderful scholarship. And how does that feel to you as a mature age student, which is a bit harder, isn't it? I think more that there aren't a lot of opportunities for a mature actor to be gifted um, an opportunity to go and do further study. I think maybe it's considered that we aren't worth investing in or that we supposedly know it all. But and of course, reskilling is something that we need to do every day, isn't it? Really important in this industry and there are more and more people coming into it. So we have to be the best we can be, right? You know, the beauty of this scholarship to Kim Crages, who runs 16th Street, and to set this um, scholarship up in honour of her beautiful sister is, um, a, is a gorgeous thing and I feel really connected to, mm. to those women too because they're mature and, and believed in themselves. You've got a quote mm. from Lindis. Yeah, she said to believe, take action and never give up those three things that I live by, I try to, majority of the time. So where would your scholarship take you if you got it? I'd actually like to go to, you know, the, the countries in the world that are producing great works and I would probably spend the money going and seeing shows, probably write a blog, you know, maybe try and get some interviews, talk to people. What have you been involved with lately? My parents put me in drama school when I was really little and I've just continued on ever since. It was sort of my only passion when I was going through high school and I went to university, did a Bachelor of Applied Theatre on the Gold Coast. And then I came to Melbourne, uh, did the full-time course at 16th Street and I've just been training ever since um, with some um, amazing teachers from overseas and here, Kerry Armstrong, who also works with 16th Street. I've trained with her um, for three years. Um, and then I've worked with Larry Moss and Elizabeth Kemp, master teachers. It's just been about training for me and I believe that you can never have enough of that. And with this scholarship, with the Pegasus Foundation, it's just such a wonderful gift Thank you so much for both your time. Thank you. Thank you. Ruby, you're just about to graduate from the part-time program at 16th Street Actors Studio, which has been an 18-month program. Can you tell me where you are now in relationship to the notion of ongoing training for an actor? For me, the idea of training has kind of dramatically shifted, I would say, over the past 18 months. I think there's a bit of a mythology that surrounds actor training in the way that it doesn't have to be as disciplined as a lot of other creative arts or you know anything in the industry you know we don't expect footballers to train for one year and go into the AFL uh, but we have this sense that as actors somehow because we're imitating human life it should be something that doesn't necessarily require so much vigorous training and what I have learned over the past 18 months at this school is that you have to have self-discipline you have to have self-worth and you have to honour yourself when you, when you put that work in and it's all self-motivated. There's not going to be somebody, you know, coaching you, waking you up in the morning, getting you to practice. That's all self-motivated. So that's something that I've cultivated in these past 18 months that I'm, I think that's in my body now and that I can take once I've graduated and I think that it will hopefully um, create, I guess, a discipline and work ethic that I would want to carry into the industry. Great. Thanks very much indeed. Angie, you're also about to graduate from 16th Street Actors Studio on the part-time program with Ruby. But you came to acting after already being established as, as a very successful makeup artist in the industry. Can you tell me what this scholarship means to you as there's no restriction of age with this scholarship? It gives me the confidence and diminishes self-doubt that acting is defined by age. 
Thank you. And I hope you're going to apply. I will. <laughs> you too, Ruby. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <gasps>